hello guys and welcome back so in the previous video we have added our player and set up the camera as well now in this video what we will do we will add some basic movement to our player so that the player can move forward backward and left and right as well okay so for that what we will do we will first of all inside our assets folder we will create a new folder by the name of scripts and then inside this scripts folder we will create a new c-sharp file by the name of player movement then if we go ahead and open this up in here we will simply remove the default code and at the top what we will do we will create first of all a header and this header name will be player movement and gravity in here what we will do we will create a float which will be a public by the name of movement speed this will be by default equals to 5 then after this we need a reference to our character controller of the player so we will say public actually let's make this private okay because we will assign this character controller reference inside the script automatically okay so we will say private character controller let's name this as controller okay then let's create a start method or function if you say and in here the controller will be equals to get component and we want to get the character controller so we will say character controller okay that is it after this let's create a method for handling the player movement so we will say void handle movement okay in here first of all we need a uh, horizontal and vertical inputs okay so first of all let's start from the horizontal input so for that we will create a float by the name of horizontal input this will be equals to input dot get axis and right here we want to get the horizontal inputs okay and as you know that this horizontal and vertical inputs are already set up in unity by default if you want to check it out click on edit project settings then inside the input manager you will find this horizontal and vertical okay which are by default set to up down arrows and the sw key okay as you can see and same as the horizontal is set to left right and the a and d button okay now let's get back to our script right here we will now create a float for our vertical input and this will be equals to input dot cat axis and this time we want to get the vertical okay now after this we will create a vector 3 by the name of movement now in here we will handle our movement so for that first of all we will say transform dot right we will multiply that by our horizontal input then we will say plus transform dot forward and we will multiply that by our vertical inputs okay this transform dot right represents the object right vector okay so that's why we multiply that by our horizontal inputs okay so it will make our player go to the left and right and then as you know that the transform dot forward represents the forward vector of the object 
in the world space so we multiply that by our vertical input okay which will move our player forward and backward now after this we only want the player to move forward backward left and right okay we don't want the player to move in upward direction okay so for that what we will do we will say movement dot y and this will be equals to zero so what this will do this will make sure that the movement is only in the horizontal plane okay now after this we will say controller dot move okay and then we will add our movement vector we will multiply that by the movement speed okay so that our movement is restricted by the movement speed okay and then we want this movement to be smooth and time dependent so we will say time dot delta time okay simple as that so once this function is completed then right here add a update method remove these three comments and in here we will just simply call our handle movement function right there that is it so now what i want to do guys is just simply save the script get back to unity click on the player drag and drop the script right here at the top okay here is the movement speed now if we go ahead and play the game as you can see it is playing if you move forward backward left and right okay so now we have the player movement right here set up okay the player can move forward backward left and right as you can see okay so we have this smooth movement now okay for now we don't have the gravity and the velocity set up for our player but we will do that in the upcoming videos okay so let me move the player up as you can see the player doesn't move to the ground this is due to the character controller component okay as you can see the player stays up there so what we want to do now is we want to add some gravity and velocity as well okay so once we add gravity then the player will simply falls down to the ground and this issue will be fixed okay and we will be also adding the camera controller as well in the future videos so for now let's end this video right here